Okay, when I'm fishing the spoon, um, and there's a couple different ways you can do it, um, but primarily you want to, whatever you're doing, you want to rip it up and then it'll fall like this and it falls really slow. And you know, you have, you know, I've got different sizes, different kinds. Um, there's one kind I really like, but um, you just, you just want it to flutter and then you're going to rip it. Or, or lift it you know sometimes they want it to be ripped up and then fall or other times you just lift it up and then let it fall back down slowly right now it seems more of a lift than a rip um, but like when I'm fishing a lot of grass like there's a lot of grass in this lake but right now I'm primarily fishing docks so I'm doing more of a lift if I'm in a lot of grass I'll really rip it up but when I catch you know and you can cast it um, and it's really important that you follow your slack down. So I follow my slack, then I lift, and I'm gonna wind in three or four cranks, and I'm gonna follow my slack back down. You still want it to fall straight, so don't, don't wind it in so tight that your line's not slack. But you, you really don't feel anything. What you do is, is you actually see your line jump. And so when you see that line jump, you better hit it. One just hit it right there. Um, sometimes they come back, but but when you see that line jump, that's when you uh, when you want to set the hook. So again, I'm going to cast it out. I'm going to follow my slack down. I'm going to lift. I didn't do a very good job there. The line was too tight, so it fell at an angle. Hold on. Wind it down, now it's falling. I'm gonna lift it, wind it down, follow it, lift it. I got grass on it right now, so I'm gonna rip that off. Again, I'm gonna let it fall, lift. You know, and the thing is, you catch pretty quality fish typically and you know, it's a big hunk of metal so they don't have it in their mouth long they don't they don't keep it in their mouth long so when you see that line jump you've really got to uh, set a hook and so here we go let it fall winding it down and we'll lift it up a lot of times they hit it on that initial fall You know, and when I'm fishing deeper water, right now I'm like six, seven feet, but when I'm fishing deeper water, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll count it down. So if I only want it to fall four or five feet, you know, you don't have to let it fall all the way to the bottom. And, um, and so you want it to fall where the, kind of where the bait fish are schooling or, or where you see those big fish on your graph and you just, Try to be consistent with it but again you just kind of watch like i still have quite a bit of slack in my line when i lift and you know it's not a plastic bite where you let it run a little bit i mean when you feel it you better rip it Fishing docks with a spoon, you know, you want to make sure you hit the outside first, just like with any other bait. You know, and again, it's the same principle. You're just making a little pitch in, you watch. And you just got to pay attention because as soon as you see that line jump, now it's going to kind of pop on the way down, but when it jumps, you know. 
and, and I'll just kind of fish my way back to the dock. I, I fish kind of the front of the dock to the back of the dock. There was right there. If you hit that on the pole, it's a good fish. And when you get the net, you always use a net with these because they throw them in a hurry. So another good one. That, that dock bite's really turning on right now. Um, but I started at the front of the dock or the end of the dock and I'm working my way back because it's so important that you don't disturb fish as you bring them out. So if, you, if you're on fish like I am right now, I mean, I've just had three bites and a 10 yard stretch. And so when you're doing that, you don't want to disturb you really don't want to disturb the other fish on the ends all the way in or all the way out as you pull them in. So, so you want to work your way into the, the end of the dock or the front of the dock. So that way you can kind of catch as many and maximize your, your dock or your opportunity on that dock. You know, another thing you want to keep in mind when you're fishing a spoon is this is, this is a clear water technique. This is a clear water presentation. If that water is stained up or muddy, like, you know, honestly, find something else because, you know, you're just not going to get the reflection, you're just not going to get the bites that you do in clear water. And when I say clear, I mean, I would say at least a minimum of three foot visibility. Like right now, I'm sitting here in like six feet of water and I can see the bottom. A lot of guys say medium heavy rod. I mean, for me, I like, you know, the extra fast tip is probably the most important thing because that way you're always responding to that fish. So you want, you want a rod that has an extra fast tip. I mean, unless you're fishing a really big spoon, I mean, a medium is probably fine. Um, this is a medium heavy. But like I said, the extra fast tip is, is the most important thing. Um, my reel, um, you know, I use a Shimano SLX DC. I've got pretty small hands, so the SLX uh, fits my hand a lot better than the Quarto. But I would recommend a seven to one, you know, a higher speed reel, because you wanna make sure that you can bring in line. And, and I'm telling you like that, that one I just caught, I mean, if I, if I would have had a slower speed reel, I might have lost that fish because he hit it on the initial fall when I was falling, you know, I was, I was falling my uh, slack down. And so that, that seven to one ratio really gives me an opportunity to um, bring in as much line as I need. Eight to, eight to three, eight to one, you know, that would even be. All right, here are the three biggest, 311, 313, and we got a three two. All of them on a spoon, um, about 10 feet of water. Thanks to my sponsors, the Direct Action Company, Dave Schlebaugh Financial Services, and Miller Tech Lithium Batteries. Principles of bass fishing here, see you on the water.